my name is Tom, this is the Tap Place YouTube channel. I apologise for no video yesterday because my, I did record a very good delivery video, but um, it didn't record, end up being recorded, so I do apologise for that. Um, we are back in Roscoff like we were last episode, but we went from Cambridge to Roscoff, I believe it was. Um, but for my point of travels, the next episode will be a no commentary, drama, um, no commentary video. Episode 25, which will be out a couple of hours later than this video, so then people can have a chance to watch this video. So we are leave, we are going to start from Roscoff, and we are going to go. We don't even know yet because obviously one of Trump's jobs are a little bit different to freight market than, than in the sense that I don't know what we're doing. So let's see what we got. We got the dash working. And all the links to the mods that I've used in this last play will be in the description below, as well as the tele ETS to tele inventory. Um, things that I use. So we are at 61,000 euros, just like we left off last episode. Actually, no, I think we were a bit more, actually. Yeah, because I had to cancel my... I had to drive my previous World of Trucks job here. Uh, well, it wasn't the previous one. I had to drive from where this auto save was, because I didn't want to start in Sheffield and be a bit confusing with the Let's Play, if you know what I mean. So we have, we have lost a little bit of money, but that's completely okay, because we... We can back that back today as we go back to Cambridge from Roscoff holding a 44 ton trailer. Okay, this is going to be interesting because this this is probably my first proper heavy haulage thing that I've done with the... What's that say? This is probably going to be the first heavy haulage cargo I've done with the Peterbilt. Uh, if I had a Mercedes, I would not be able to do this. I would have went down to the next one and went to Manchester. So we've got 16,000 euros. Let's go ahead and do it. So I hope you are enjoying. Yes, we are good for that. Uh, very good for heavy cargo. I hope you are still enjoying the ETS2 Let's Play. Make sure you're hitting the like button down below. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. Our goal, if you're on YouTube to Let's Play, is to discover one whole country. And if it's um, still, uh, I'm still having fun with it, I will try and discover the whole continent with building our truck empire, obviously, truck company, and having lots of um, different drivers, earning more money to make it, hopefully, a profitable co um, profitable um, company, which it definitely is at the moment. Um, we are not taking loans, we're not doing anything, all that stuff, we're not cheating, we're earning the money legitimately in this game. I mean, I've seen... So let's play I've seen they always take out loads. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to earn the money legitly. That's why I bought. Um, that's why I only have one truck at the moment. I don't have a second garage yet. Because otherwise I would have taken out a load to do that. And cheated a little bit. Which I don't want to cheat in this let's play. Um, that's not the point let's of Let's get it. going. Okay, excuse the young lag. So give it, a, give it a couple of seconds here. We'll go and pick up this 44 ton trailer. And tow it back to good old... Go on to Cambridge, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, we've got a lot of news to cover. We're going to just uh, cover today's news and yesterday's news in this video, and then the next episode will be no commentary. So, if you are a no commentary fan of ETS2, stick around for a couple of hours because uh, we are going to continue from Cambridge to another job. Do another job from there. Okay, we're not that one. We're that one over there. We're in a bad position. Something to go. Do a turn around here. So this is gonna be interesting. A 44 ton trailer. Well, it's gonna it's gonna do it with ease us late. Sorry guys. Um, it will add from time to time, I do apologize about that. that. Let's see how we go. This is a high value cargo, so we've got to remember that, so we have to be very careful. Time to hit the road. Don't you get no crumbs on my back seat. Sure, let's see how we go. We're going to stick with low gears. Let's get going. Oh, with ease. With ease. I love this one. That's right. We have 658 kilometers on the fuel tank. Uh, we might have to go fill up. We're not too sure yet. We'll see. And I'll add that up to my fuel costs on my face. So let's see how we go. And kilometer update. Oh god. 
Uh, sorry about that. Uh, kilometer update, we are up to 2493 on the clock of the Peterbilt 389. We're doing really well. Let's turn the board up. Let's, get, right. let's get going. Let's do a very hard turn there. There we go. Perfect. Away we go. Right, we're, we're handling with ease. Look how. Keep left. And then turn left. That's, this is why I went with this truck with this engine. On the horsepower. Turn left. It's insane. We have 2,000 new meters of torque. Yeah, we are arriving into the dock once again to go to Cambridge and then we'll cover all the news and yeah, all that good stuff. Um, from what's happening in the YouTube community, the car community, because it's big news regarding a certain YouTube, certain two YouTubers receiving a certain special car um, that just came out. Um, we're also going to talk about a YouTuber getting trouble with the police. We're going to do all that sort of stuff over and, and that's sort of, we can't talk about that sort of car being done and started, you know, started cleaning and stuff, you may know not, you may know what that is. Okay, let's see how we go. With this 44 ton trailer towing it, I just said it is 44 tons a day, 44.0 tons of, as, uh, of an asphalt miller, so this is going to be interesting. So obviously we're going to Plymouth this way for the game to load and do its fee, and then we will get going. A thousand euros that's going to cost, which is completely, completely cool. And then, like I said, next episode will be a no commentary drive. So my talking will be done on this video, and then I'll do a no commentary drive tomorrow. And then, no, turn out well, not tomorrow after this video. Then tomorrow will be we'll change the um, I'll think of a navigation voice to use for tomorrow's video overnight and. Uh, and then we'll do use the now. Finding a new route. Because as you know, every thirteen episodes, I am going to change the um, change the fee. I'll change the navigation voice because we have the grandpa, grandma voice, and we also had the raspy Doug voice before. Now we've got well, I forgot her name. I think it's Mary or something like that on our navigation voice, which is very cool. And then we'll have to. Um, yeah, I've, I've, there's like lots of navigation voices on the Steam Workshop, and I'll link it in the description to tomorrow. Because I want to use funny voices, I don't want to use, oh, turn left, or, so, or in 400 meters turn left, like, boring voices like that. I want to use, like, like the funny voices, like, this is a funny voice, and a Doug Raspberry voice is a funny voice that I've picked out. So, we should be in Cambridge anytime, well, not Cambridge, in Plymouth anytime soon, and we'll get going to do our drive over to... Recomputing! Okay. Okay, we're just right here. Let's go. Yeah, we're clear. We're welcome to Plymouth, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get going. Turn right. Well, it's currently. We can make it on this take of fuel, but I'm gonna fill up anyway. Well, get ready to turn left. Well, we're driving the eco, we're driving the eco one, just in case. But then again, this truck has plenty of torque. Anyway, turn so left. Good. So let's just get onto the motorway. Oh, I'm one bit too wide. That's alright. Get onto the motorway. And then we will talk uh, talk about the news that's been happening for the last two days. Because I didn't upload yesterday. This guy's gonna be trouble because I give me trouble now. Please do not give me trouble now. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Oh God! Thank God! At the roundabout. Take the third exit. Okay, we're good. Exit now! Keep left, and then turn left. Let's get 
Okay, I just tap. It's very laggy. I just tap it sometimes. Turn left. Construction zone here. I beat up it and down this road twice yesterday. I went to, I was going to do a Manchester right. job and also a Sheffield job. But the Sheffield job was the one I've been recorded and the Manchester job the game came crashing. Turn right. Because I think the mod that I had was not wanting to work with any of my other mods. Let's get going. Going the right way too. There we go. Perfect. Keep left. That's such a good thing. And to then the right turn way. left. So not changing. Turn good. left. Not changing. Good. And it changes as soon as I'm turning the corner. Fantastic. Fantastic timing. That's it. So when we get to like a 50 mile an hour speed limit, we'll start a new shall we? Or 60 mile an hour. That's when we know we're out of the town. Have cruise control all that, then we can talk. Like, like have a cut out conversation. Cruising along on ETS2 because this ETS2 ETS2 videos can get like very like boring and so I mean, which is okay, but I don't mind it being boring. But ETS2 is not a boring game. I mean, it's relaxing. I think it's more than what you see in some truck truck, which you should do if you are a truck driver in real life. You should not fall asleep whilst you're driving a truck uh, because you're about to pay attention to the road. And we will take this truck to the repair shop um, at some stage too, but this truck I mean, doesn't really need it. It's not a Mercedes. It's a Peterbilt. Peterbilt's a pretty cool proof. I mean, obviously, of course. Yeah, it's day 30. It's Peaked by the camera. There is a speed camera apparently somewhere. I don't know. up in the um, spreadsheet if it's the same you'll hear that D I think that could be going live on uh, the script that's on the YouTube channel which we will be talking about in the moment. Give me a second here, let me just check. Is it? Yep, this is the first it is the first um uh, Okay, nine hundred and five euro that cost. Let me just see if that's the same spreadsheet. Because I did uh, update the spreadsheet, I'll just change it to what it says there. Um, yep, so we'll be talking about that video in a moment. Um, I haven't watched it yet, obviously. It just uh, came up on my notifications on my... But yeah, it was you know, a bit cheaper, so... Alright. But we're good. Let's get going. We've got 611 litres. Okay, let's do that really quickly. Wait for the forward button all to come up. Okay, engine lights on. We've done 25.17 kilometres right now. Alright, dig, 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 yep, come on, let's go. Yep, we're just waiting for all the lights to go off, so I don't know, I can flick it to the fuel economy, reset the trip meter, just like so. Where we go. It's a little bit There we go, there's some more money cut out from the bait of all this game. Right.
case you don't know, um, the 2020 Corvette has begun shitting and two YouTubers have currently got their cars and they got them as of today. Uh, congratulations to Street Team 717 on oh, Hello! <laughs> I've got a viewer. Thank you. Does it? That's my, my cat. I've got a viewer. That's so funny. Uh, we have Street Beast 717 and TJ Hub has, has both taken delivery of their 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
uh, and he loved it because obviously his Guyana is getting twin turbo. He's aiming for 700 to 800 crank horsepower for that car. I was hoping a little bit more because it was 700 crank horsepower then. It's just as powerful as the event. <laughs> and that thing is going to rip. Oh. Stop. Thank you. We're doing 60, but we can't go 60 in a long truck's job. That's against. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they don't say you can go to separate region to say you can go 60 from here and say like, like the actual top speed of a truck top speed. If you don't want to put a truck top speed. Because I obviously have truck limits and whatnot. Yeah, I'm enabled. I'm also going to go 110 kilometers an hour in some places. And um, yep, yeah, so that's that's a straight man in the video. He went for a ride. He said he was eight, and he's also discussed four options for the next car purchase. Um, obviously, he's got the Tesla Model Y coming. He also drove a Porsche Taycan or Taycan or whatever it is. I think that's that last video. And he's thinking about either getting a Lamborghini Murcielago LP640. Of course, we've been, been talking about that since before he got the Aventador from that. Um, so he's uh, thinking right. of getting the. And then, you know it. Continue straight on. Uh, well, uh, what was I thinking? Um, Go straight on. So, maybe right. he could touch, and then he said, oh, it might break down all constantly, all bloody time. And with the first guy, he would say, say, oh, he's already got the event store, is it going to be too similar? Which it's not going to be, um, James, if you watch this. Because the event store uses the second generation V12. The uh, Mercedes Lago uses the first generation V12 that's been in the car since the 60s. That's been worn out, worn out, worn out, worn out. Go it's straight the same 3.5 litre V12 that's been in the. Yeah, that's been on the London next time we're going to the game. Um, what was I saying? I keep, forgetting, I keep losing track of what I'm saying. Um, he did say it was going to be too similar to the event store, but it's the first gen V12. It's, um, the last of the V12s that were part of the, that were in the car since the 1960s. So that's that. He also has, he's also thinking about getting the Lamborghini Euros, but then again, depreciation is going to be key. And depreciation is going to, it's going to get serious depreciation. And also the Rolls Royce Phantom drop head. Or is it something different? Like, honestly, I mean, he has a Rolls Royce, it's got the, um, limousine that he gave um, that he gave um, oh come on now um, okay I'll stay in this lake that says Cambridge this lake we'll go to Cambridge um, what was I say? Um, go straight on that's right so um, what was I saying? Um, I'm so sorry guys, I'm all over the place. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit different than Rolls Royce Phantom. Even though he has the, um, technically he owns the, um, <coughs> limbo. But, um, I mean, but, but, but then, yeah. He technically owns the limbo, in a way, because he gave it to, um, the Lecter. So we'll see, so there we go. We can call it see a second, um, So uh, it'll be a second um, Rolls Royce for the garage, but then again he's moving out I think next year maybe. I think he's getting his house built this year. But he might have he might have been designed to don't have a great but then he's even have a great Make it for like a car park storage, maybe. That'd be cool. Because he's moving to a like a barn sort of style house with like a nine nine or ten car garage, but he can't move there because he has to have a basement. So maybe, yeah, yeah, we can add a basement or something like that. Add a basement that could be for like, GM, it could be for, um, uh, it could be for anything. Because obviously his new daily driver to replace the Ford Focus RS is the Tesla. He also has the Jeep Gladiator, the Guyana, the Aventador, the Ferrari 430, the Ford GT, the, um, what else is he getting? He's getting the... Um, the C8 
28 Corvette that should be coming next week maybe because I know um, straight space and more similar to you know, like I said will be or already have theirs <coughs> and yeah and so on and so forth like all these other cars too that are coming in the future so that will be happening hopefully sometime next year uh, who's next to talk about actually let's talk about someone else now it's been quite a bit Auto Vlog will be selling his 2007 BMW M5. Um, he's asking for any graphic if you're in the Pennsylvania area or in the state that would love a beautiful 2007 BMW M5 manual. 30 grand he's asking for it. Please go ahead and contact him on Instagram. Um, it's a beautiful car. It's got an Iceman race exhaust. It's got carbon fiber steering wheel, black kidney grills, pro badges. Um, it's a beautiful car. I mean, I'm sad at his house to let it go, but he doesn't love it. He likes it, but he doesn't love it. But, I mean, if you are a car owner and, and don't love your car, and you don't like it, but you don't love it, you have to you probably don't want to be a thing, so you have to sell it and get something else. It's not the car for you. Like, he rarely, like, when he drives it, he enjoys it, but when he's not driving, he thinks it's not so Which is a bit sad, but uh, hey. He'll sell that car. If you are interested, um, all those on Instagram, please give him a contact. And tell him to give me a shout out. I right, mean, if you want to give me a shout out, for you, tell him to give me that. Tell him to give me that. Please. And if you're off. <coughs> and, yeah, so again, I mean, the E60 M5 is my drone BMW. I mean, sure, it has some problems with rod bearings and whatnot, but I don't care. It's a V10 sedan. And plus, you get a V10 station wagon model. Um, in Europe. We don't get them in Australia, we only get this in here with the SMG, um, which is not the best transmission ever. I, mean, um, I wish it came in manual, like the actual true 6 p 3 pedal manual, but we don't have that in Australia. It's only the US and Canada, which is the place with the least chance to see someone driving a manual. Like, you rarely will see someone driving a manual in the United States. I've seen Australian manuals are still everywhere, like manuals. Well, yeah, I see manuals on the street and uh, people driving manuals. And plus, obviously, my dad drives a manual. Um, but, but even though the manual travels just die, here in Australia, it's not really popular. So, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, if you're interested in that, contact Auto Vlog. <coughs> and. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it today. today's news. We are about 130 miles out. About 2 hours 24 get, minutes game time. And then we will get to our destination. So there's nothing else to talk about. The next episode will be going to go the traffic. That's the point I'm going to say. I'll go watch Street Speed for you first. Well, because it's just like a problem. Speed. And that'll be it.
straight off. That's right. Lots of motorways in First C8 Corvette on YouTube. It's amazing. Well, it is the first C8 Corvette on YouTube, actually. Fun, fun fact. He has the first C8 Corvette on YouTube. Street speeds of one seven. He's probably changed it since then. I'm not too sure, but hey. So let's do a video photo of, of us driving into the sunset there or sunrise. There we go. Oh, I should have done the blow stroke. Damn it. 
Let's go to that. Driving into the sunset. That's a bit funny. Technically, my it's cool bit. The C8 is down in front of me. If you had the first C1 on YouTube, too, I might have been a second. I'm not too sure. It's fair, and it was the first bad news I think and he, think he said he forgot about that car. And that's why he got I keep left there. That, that, that it's coming. That's why he bought the C70 on because he forgot about the C8. And he obviously had a deposit with um, my boy Chevrolet. Like he always did, he always had a deposit with the C on as well. With uh, I think White Furman, I think he had it uh, originally. I mean, but I haven't watched his channel. Exit left. Okay, we're going to ex exit left this time. Okay, we're going to. Right, we are in the Cambridge exit, we are on a slope stretch, and then I'm taking a break myself, and then I'm doing the next video after I've watched Street Speed. Turn left. Because that's probably number one. <coughs> Alright, welcome to Cambridge Hospital now. There we go, that, that, did that record all the video? I think it did. There we go, we did it. We've used 249 litres, we've tried, this is our 27, well, sorry, 25th, but uh, 26, but anyway. Cool. Right. Um, next episode will be no commentary, so I um, hope you um, stick around a few, a few hours. Don't go anywhere, um, you'll see me about 8.30pm. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.